Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome back to our Lego room. In today's video, we're taking a look at an awesome HA Bricks kit that I just finished building. The Falls Z Kalkstein Dutch Railways hopper car. This train car was modeled in 145th scale and was designed by Erwin Jacobs. The kit includes 1,026 Lego and custom elements, and the finished train car is 38 studs long and 8 studs wide. The set also includes a number of amazing printed parts. We will take a closer look at those in a few moments. I have to say, you know, I've built a number of HA Bricks sets over the last few years, and this is another excellent one. Looking forward to continuing to build more of their sets in the future. What always stands out for me with the HA Bricks kits is the high quality and all the attention to detail they put into them. The box here is amazing. Great photography on the front of the finished build. Really nice printing and the box in general is very high quality. I love the interior box where all the parts are located. And if we look at the back of the box here, an excellent wireframe blueprint view of the finished model. Always appreciate these wireframe views. Gives you an interesting sort of look into the finished model and just a fun fun way to sort of take a look at and appreciate all of the different parts that go into making up this Lego train car. Now, in addition to the high quality box, was really impressed with the instruction manual that came with the kit. Great printing on here, nice glossy paper. The instructions were super easy to follow and they took the time to separate out all of the bricks included in the kit into several numbered bags, which, you know, just makes it a lot easier to go through and, uh, you know, assemble the final model and make sure that you haven't, you know, left out or forgotten any pieces along the way. So really impressed overall with their quality and the finished model is really amazing. So let's take a closer look now at the finished build. Now, the first thing that really catches your eye when looking at the finished build is all of the excellent printed parts that they've included in the kit. Everything that you see on the side here, the graffiti, uh, the hopper car details, the symbols and you know company names and that is all printed onto the bricks. Really appreciate that. It adds an extra level of quality to the final build. And you know it's nice not to have to worry about trying to place uh, decals on the sides of the train car. Also really appreciate with this printing all the great color work that they managed to get here. You can see all the different bands of color through the graffiti, uh, which, you know, just gives it an extra sort of eye catching pop. Really appreciate that. And if we move in a little bit closer here, I've talked about graffiti before and how I thought it would be a really cool addition to, uh, you know, train cars throughout the, the layout. And definitely have to say, after seeing the work that H.A. Bricks has done here on this particular hopper car, uh, it's everything I thought it would be and more. Definitely would love to see more graffiti on train cars that we build in the future. And I really appreciate the humor that they've included here with their graffiti, making it all Lego themed. You've got the minifigure head there mad bricks on this side uh, and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side of the model in just a moment and then you know you can see here we've got we've got a little information area on the hopper car which is what you would expect to see on a real world version of this hopper car which is a nice touch really love seeing those little 
uh, details on there that tie it to the sort of real world equivalent. So really appreciate all the work they did here on printing these bricks. It looks amazing. Now, if we flip it around, you will see on the other side of the train car here, we've got a lot of the same elements, but they actually have different graffiti on this side of the car. We've got AFOL and mock. Really cool. Like I said, nice to see that uh, that Lego humor and you know the Lego uh, terminology referenced in the graffiti here. I think that's a really nice touch. And you can see a little extra graffiti here on the info section of the the hopper car exterior. So you know, overall, really eye catching. Love the love all of that graffiti and just love all of the uh, the printed elements here. They really add a level of realism to this train car, which is impressive. And, you know, like I said, really help this hopper car uh, be an eye-catching piece that stands out from other models around our layout. So really happy with all of that. Next up, if we take a look from above here, you can see the interior of the hopper car is peaked in the middle. So it slopes down towards each of the sides of the hopper car. That allows us to raise these lower flaps here, or these side flaps on the train car. And we could dump the interior contents of the hopper car out into a storage or sort of transportation system right along the edge of the rails, which I think is really cool. A nice nod to how these cars likely work in the real world, but also adds some fun capabilities for doing some, you know, call them mini operations around your own Lego layout. Uh, it would be really cool to, you know, come up with a way to fill these cars and then have them uh, transport that load to a particular location in the layout and then have the contents dumped out and transported, you know, inside a building or, you know, to some other location. I've seen the designer of this set, Irwin, on Instagram. He's working out some different ways that, you know, he could unload this particular train car. Uh, which I think are really cool. And it's definitely something I'm going to investigate and look at more uh, just because I think it adds a really nice, um, you know, play element or element for using these train cars and building more, more story and interesting elements around the layout that are tailored to this particular type of car. So, you know, that's only... Two things that we've looked at so far, we've looked at the, the, all that graffiti and those printed bricks and then the, the functionality of those flaps. And, you know, I think they're both really, really awesome. And yet only two of the amazing things that are found, uh, you know, around and inside of this particular model. Now, taking a look at the end caps of the train car, love all the details and pipe work they put in back here. Great little handle on the back. You'll notice that we have magnet couplers on here. The kit came with two magnet couplers, one for each end. We'll use those for now. I might at some point switch this over to use the, the BMR KD couplers, but, uh, most of my, most if not all of my HA Bricks kits are currently using the, the magnets. So I will keep the magnets on for now. Really happy with the operation of those magnets. You know, I did some just basic tests with them. They seem like really nice, strong magnetic couplers. So I think they'll be uh, great for using with this particular train car. Also want to call out the details around the, the wheel portion of the train car there. 
really nice um, sort of side elements that they had you build out as part of the uh, the instructions for those wheel areas. I think they look really nice. And then you can see the other end cap down here. Uh, same idea with how that looks. Now, one of the interesting things I find about putting together uh, kits like this or models that other Lego builders have designed is it really gives you an interesting insight into the techniques that other builders use and the way that other designers approach, uh, you know, designing kits like this and, you know, different, different elements that are found within them. And really loved the way that Irwin here designed these uh, si sloped sides. There's a lot of sloped parts to the kit. You can see the sides of the hopper here. It was really interesting to see how all of these parts slotted in here. And then another great sloped part in the middle here, separating the two bays of the hopper car. And then if we move around to the end again, really thought there was some interesting things here as well. More sloped uh, areas, another great little detail section here for uh, this end portion at the top of the hopper. Really cool to see what he did here for designing all of these different components. And, you know, like I said, with even with some of the complexity and, you know, those different techniques that are used in here, everything was really well laid out in the instructions and easy to follow. So be interesting to see if we can take some of these concepts and ideas and apply them to other builds that we work on in the future. But, you know, as a, uh, as an experience of learning how, to design a different looking train car. This was a really cool experience and really appreciated all the different uh, techniques that Irwin used for achieving the final shape and look of this particular train car. Now, as I mentioned, this is not my first HA Bricks kit that I have built. I've put together a number of them over the last couple of years continue to be really impressed with the models and they are excellent pieces in my collection. Looking forward to building more of their kits in the future and really interested to see what other types of train cars and other builds that they release going forward. If you haven't checked out the HA Bricks website, highly recommend that you do. I'll include a link below so you can uh, easily check it out. Highly recommend visiting it. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Lots of great stuff ahead on the channel and Keep an eye out for an upcoming video where we put this new train car and several other new train cars in our collection uh, through their paces around our layout. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.